up everybody it's Miranda Evans your favorite unfiltered motivator and you are here with me for the first wait that's 11 haha <laughs> the first episode of motivation with me and today we are going to discuss self-love yes self-love is important we're gonna discuss self-love um I see you guys this is my by Anike headband here, you know, earrings from Etsy. I'm going to start posting like where I get these things from because this is very creative gear that I wear. Sometimes I might not look like this, so be well prepared. So today we're going to discuss self-love. We're going to start with the quote, as always. In my introduction video, I mentioned that I was reading the book, and this is the book. It's called Un Yourself by Gary John Bishop it is a really good read. It's hilariously funny, but also motivating at the same time. Kind of like me. So in this book, he starts off, basically, this is what the book is about. And excuse my language, but this is what it says. And I quote, this is a conversational slap from the universe to wake you up to your true potential to unfuck yourself and get spectacularly into your life. I love that. This is phenomenal. Like, I absolutely love this. And if you have not read You're a Badass, it's also another good book. So we're going to start with that. Um, that was my book recommendation. I'm going to try to make different recommendations on books and movies and videos and things like that. Um, make sure you do hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Motivation With Me. This is our first video, first of many. And we're going to talk about self-love. So... When you think self-love, what do you think? What do you think about when you hear the word self-love? What does that mean to you? I want you to take a moment and think about that. What does self-love mean to you? Okay, moment up. You should have already come up with the answer. Self-love means to love yourself tremendously more than you love anybody else except for God. It's always God you than everybody else. I always say that. God first, me second, everybody else third and beyond. So you want to put yourself first. You want to love yourself for who you are. You want to love every part of yourself, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Trust me, I have all of those, the good, the bad, and sometimes I can get ugly. But one thing I had to learn was how to love myself. I went through a lot of bad relationships. I went through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of loss. I went through a lot. And if you've read Troubled, my first book, which you should, if you should not have, or if you haven't, uh, but that is pretty much my story, which, you know, you'll learn about me over time. But I spent, I'm 26 years old. I spent literally up until I was maybe 22, even a little bit after that, loving everybody else except for me. I put everybody else ahead of me. Everything was above Miranda. It was always about this person. I was about my mom. I was about my family. I was about my boyfriends, friends, everything. Everything was more important than Miranda. Miranda was not who I was thinking about, but it, it was who I was. So I had to learn that the hard way. So I've been single for five years and celibate for four. Yes, I said celibate for four years. That means I don't have sex, guys. That means I take a vow to God and I won't be having sex until I'm married. Oh, but trust me, we're going to get there too. Um, but, and I spent the last, I'm not sad, I'm not lonely, I spent the last five years building an empire, building the trouble movement, my nonprofit, as I mentioned in the last video, I spent five years focusing on me, you know, three, no, I'll take that back, one to two of those years I spent rebuilding myself and learning to love myself, learning to put myself first, learning to do what Miranda wanted to do. And I am very instilled in what I believe, what I say, what I do. You, would, you wouldn't understand how many times I've gotten into it with my vice president or one of my friends or anybody with the things that I say or the things that I do because I'm very instilled in who I am and I love who I am and I don't want to change that. That's why I call this the unfiltered motivation because 
I'm going to give it to you raw and straight up. You have to love yourself for who you are. Okay? God made you the way you are, who you are, for a reason in his image. Okay? You were made in God's image. Okay? No matter what size, shape, color, shade of color, like no matter if you're light skin, dark skin, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, doesn't none of that matters. You have to learn to love yourself for who you are. Don't try to change that, okay? Because before you can love anybody else, before you can love anything else, you have to love yourself first. Speaking of, I'm going to go again to renew strength. This is like the motivation manual that I created. And step one in becoming a survivor is self-love. And it says, when we face adversity, the first thing we lose is the love we have for ourselves. Self-love is loving yourself, taking care of yourself, and respecting yourself first. Okay? First. We want to remember that. First. You know, in this world. You know, initially, it's second because of God. We put God before anything. But it's loving yourself first. Because if you're not happy in your own skin and loving yourself, then you're not going to be happy or able to love anybody else. Not the genuine way that God meant for us to love each other. And in order for us to express love and give out love and produce love and positive energy, we have to start first with ourselves. We have to love ourselves. And that is so important. And this is the month of all things self. Okay, I've themed this month all things self. It's Monday. We're getting our motivation in. We're starting with self-love. We're going to talk about self-confidence. We're going to talk about self-care, which is also very important. We're going to talk about things, body image, confidence, the styling. You know, we're going to talk about how you can style yourself. We, we're, everything self, all things self, because we're going to be selfish this month. We're going to talk about ourselves because before we can do anything or get anybody else together, we have to get ourselves together. And that includes me. I still need work done on myself. Self-care is probably my struggle because I, you know, don't sit down anywhere except for now while I'm recording this video. But the point is. Loving yourself is the most powerful tool that you can have, right? Because when you love yourself, and when you, especially as a woman, come on, queens, especially as a woman, when you love yourself and you're confident, you are capable of so much. You have so much power. You can walk into any room like you own it. You can move like a boss, work like a boss. you just a, a lady boss. And I teach my, my young girls that all the time. Like, you're a young lady boss. And it's not about fighting. It's not about getting violent. You have to move power. You have that love. You have that, that just, mm, that just, mm, I mean, literally, you have it. Whatever it is in you, you have it. And you have to tap into it. You have to tap into it. Tap into it. It's in your mind. Okay? Tap into it. And that's what the book the un unfuck yourself that's what this book is about it's about how to change your thought process and change how you think about yourself things that you say don't get in the mirror and say oh my gosh i'm fat oh i look big in this dress oh i'm bloated you know we all do it i'm i do it too i got a pimple right here i'm not always gonna have makeup on so when you get in the mirror you say girl or man you are beautiful you are handsome. Oh, you look good in that today. Yes, honey. Yes. Yes. I'm loving it. Every day. You know, love yourself every single day. When you wake up, God loves me. I love me. My alarm clock on my phone. God loves you. I love you. If you go in my mirror, it's literally, I have words and letters all over my mirror. I love you. You are beautiful everywhere. I got sticky notes all over the house, you know, before me and Mary Jane even came out, I was doing the sticky, the sticky note thing, scriptures up everywhere, like, when you walk out the door, make sure you smile, like, literally positive 
thoughts and energies everywhere because what you consume and what you take in is what's going to come out. So you have to believe positive thoughts. You have to believe that you are capable of anything, that you are phenomenal, that you are loved by God, by yourself, by your family, by your friends, by others. And sometimes we don't we don't feel that way sometimes we don't feel loved but i am here to tell you that you are loved and i want you to love yourself write down what you love about yourself that's what i'm gonna start giving homework yes that's your homework for today okay that's your monday homework and i i'm gonna need those turned in write it down in the comments i'm gonna need you to write down in the comments tell me what you love about yourself including your flaws you know one of my flaws is well to me whew, dang do i have any i mean i'm flawed so they say but you know i don't really i guess my mouth maybe can be a little reckless sometimes might be a flaw but i know how to control it in certain situations i have anger management issues you know i have anxiety and ptsd so i do have mental health issues that i see a therapist for that i recommend that you do too but i don't really consider those flaws like you know, I'm not, I'm a perfectionist, which is not a good thing to have. Um, I can be a little rough around the edges, you know, attitude be on fleek sometimes. It's on 10. Um, but even despite all that, everybody who knows me, and even if you don't meet, don't know me, I have the biggest heart. I have the biggest heart and I have good intentions. I don't usually argue with people. I don't really have a lot of enemies. Like I I try to keep the peace. I try to help the people for the people. And then that's just, I like to keep it at that. So write down what you love about yourself. You know, I love that I'm courageous. And this is me talking as you. I love that I'm courageous. I love that I'm beautiful. I love that my skin is clear. I love that my skin is light skin, dark skin. I love that my shape is thick and voluptuous. So I love that I'm skinny. I love that I'm short, tall, brave. I love that I have faith in God. And I love my, I mean, I can go all day about all the things that you could possibly love about yourself. Even your flaws, your imperfections, because our imperfections make us who we are. Nobody's perfect. Nobody, nobody's perfect. I wish I could drop that J. Cole track right now. Nobody's perfect. So keep that in mind and make sure you love on yourself today. Just give, give yourself a hug. Just, just, you know, I love you. Just, and this, this sounds foolish and this might look funny. Y'all probably laughing at me right now, but I'm so serious. Like you, you don't understand how much like things like this actually goes into your mindset and in your subconscious and actually starts to show in your actions when you hug yourself. And that's how I get through a lot. Like I literally get through it. Like you got this, you know, if nobody else loves you, I love you, especially being single five years, you got to love yourself. I mean, and like, I got too many more options. But even if you're in a relationship, love yourself. Put yourself first. You can't love your spouse or your significant other properly until you know how to love yourself properly. Okay? And pray about it. Ask God to help you to love yourself and to, to keep you comforted and to give you confidence and in and re remove fear from your life and bring courage to you. And there's so many things that you can ask God for and tap into to promote and to produce self-love. So, you know, like I said, I want to try to keep my video short. It's really hard for me to do that because I can go all day. I really can. But, you know, I don't want to go all day because I know people have other things to do other than listening to me talk all day. But that's what I wanted to, to get out to you is self-love and self-confidence, which is our next, my next video will be on confidence. And by confidence, I mean how to stand tall even when you're going through something or even when you don't know what to do. You know, you may walk, there's been a time where I walked into a speaking, this may be happening like once, where I walked into a speaking engagement and I'm like, what am I, what am I? What am I saying? What I don't know what to oh I can't do this. Oh, I can't do this. I, what am I gonna tell these people? I don't know what to tell these people. And you couldn't even tell by looking at me. I just walked in the room like I owned it, got it to grab the tension, threw a few jokes out there, because that's what I do, and everybody was paying attention. I ended up killing it. Everybody loved it. Bam. 
you couldn't even tell in the inside my, my heart was just I was nervous but I had that mask and that feeling of confidence like girl you can do this you got this like God got you and you got you and he got you and so we got this you know this is I really do this y'all I'll be talking to myself like that's how you really got to keep it keep it going because times are gonna get tough we're gonna get on that too like what to do when you face perseverance and I'm gonna share some of my own personal experiences about a lot of things so you know drop down in the comments let me know what you think let me know if you if you want to hear more if you want me to expand on self-love <clears throat> even if you want to reach out to me personally and talk and encourage like I have no problem doing that I love encouraging people strangers whoever like I'm always here you know that's what that's what God put me here for that is my purpose so I want you to stay motivated on this good Monday stay motivated with the Miranda Evans and I want you to love yourself at all times first okay God you everybody else straight like that that's just a simple way to put it you know whenever it don't whenever you get mad at yourself you make a mistake we all make mistakes love yourself regardless because you are beautiful you are phenomenal you are handsome you are a queen you are a king okay you were put here for greatness that's that's what this is you were put here for a purpose for a reason whatever that reason may be that you were put here for it okay believe it know it love you I love you Okay, so if I can love you, I know you can love yourself. So next week, we're going to be dropping a video on self-confidence on Tuesday. So that's going to be next Tuesday. We're going to be dropping the video about self-confidence. And we're going to go into that a little bit deeper on how to have that confidence. And until then, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and make sure you follow me on social media visit my website mirandaevans.com follow the trouble movement keep up with what we got going in the community let's let's come together let's make this thing happen let's do this shout out to houston come on houston we got this and share like friend comment share i said share huh twice that means you gotta share it twice <laughs> <laughs> Pass it along to a friend that might be having a down day because it's Monday and we stay motivated. Thank you for tuning in with Motivation with me, with the phenomenal, unfiltered motivator, Miranda Evans. Have a good Monday.